This is Ramana 309 of the Fan of Steel and this and welcome to the sixth review in Spider-Man I mean Ramana 309 Saturday Spider-Man Reviews. And this is my review of Spider-Man Homecoming. But first, I want to talk about Civil War. Spider-Man's mere appearance shook the world by storm. Never did I expect they'd do it. I'm not saying I didn't want an MCU Spider-Man. I just didn't think they'd do it. I'm more than happy they did, and Holland was awesome in Civil War, portraying that classic teenage quipster that Spider-Man is well known for. So the film stars Tom Holland as Peter Parker's High Spider-Man, Michael Keaton as Batman, I mean Beetlejuice, I mean Vulture, the Vulture, John Favreau's Happy Hogan, Michelle Jones, I refuse to call her MJ, Jacob Batalon as Ned Leeds, Marissa Tomei as on May, and Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. The film and the film starts off in 2012, post Avengers 2012, where we see every villain of the movie. No joke. You got Adrian Toomes, the Vulture, who later. Be- Adrian Toomes, who later becomes the Vulture, maybe a few months later, as well as the Tinkerer, uh, the two Shockers. One is white and the other is black, but that's besides the point. And that's it from the villains. And they get bumped off by Stark's damage control and become a Chitari tech stealing gang. Cut to a typo six, eight, eight years later, let's just say five here, where we see Peter Parker filming his shenanigans at the airport battle from Captain America's Civil War after, I mean, after a talk with, and after a talk with Stark about missions, and Peter, I mean, after that, and after that, two months have passed as Peter is warped, doing his school stuff as well as the hero stuff until plot trouble comes along that gang has gotten the attention of spider-man and he he spends the course of the film trying to stop the vulture and his gang doing the schoolwork schoolwork finding a date for the homecoming dance and getting into trouble in school and as spider-man which gives us the well-appreciated Captain America cameos and Stark taking a suit back for the entire third act. He gets a date in the form of Liz Allen, who is actually the Vulture's daughter, not in the comics, though. Peter leaves the dance. Oh, wait, hold up. I didn't explain why Stark took back the suit. So Spidey and Ned remove the tracker and deactivated the training wheels protocol Stark and deactivated the protocol of the training wheels protocol and uh, Stark was pissed off by Peter's irresponsibility of the suit so that's why he takes it back to what I originally was going to say wait, takes it back okay, now back to what I was originally going to say Peter leaves the dance so he can stop the vulture from revealing I mean to, from looting the Avengers cargo jet with the help of his buddy Ned and rocking his own made suit too. 
his uh, Rockner's home made suit too. As he defeats the Vulture and Stark offers Peter to become an Avenger, Peter politely Peter politely declines the offer, saying he'd rather be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. As an, and Star gives him back the suit in a badass shot of him wearing and reuniting with his suit is interrupted with Aunt May giving us our nearly giving us our first MCU F bomb has credits roll and now the post credit scenes. Number one, Tombs is in prison and he meets up with Matt Gargan referencing a possible six uh a sinister six in the MCU. And the second post credit scene is a self aware PSA with Captain America talking about patience. And uh might be wondering why I didn't talk about Zendaya in the movie at all. And the that's because she pretty much had zero character, and I don't want to see. Uh, and I, I don't see how she's Mary Jane, and I don't see the chemistry between her and Peter that everybody else sees. I'm not saying that they should kill her off in Far From Home. Let broom her out fast. Like, say she can't be with him anymore. So, well, I'm, well, I'm pissed. I'd better go calm down before I get ready for the next week's review of Into the Spider-Verse. This is Robin9309, signing off.